up to this point, we have discussed graphs where we just have the vertices and the edges connecting them. Now we'll talk about weighted graphs where we assign actually the weights to each edge so that um, the characteristics of the edges between any pair of vertices might be different. Uh, obviously, what the weights represent depends on your model or your application, but we are going to treat this um, in, in a more general way. Um, essentially, graphs that have values assigned to their edges are called weighted graphs. Simple as that. So we have weights assigned to each edge. And here you see an adjacency matrix where uh, we have a simple graph, a simple weighted graph. And in the um, adjacency matrix, you just have, instead of just zeros and ones, you have um, the weights of each um, edge. For instance, between A and B, you have two. Between A and C, you have four and you have between A and E, you have one. And obviously, since this is a simple graph and undirected graph, the matrix is symmetric. If you have a directed graph, here, uh, again, th since the direction is important, the matrix turns out to be non-symmetric in general. And the direction is from the row to the column. So if um, assuming that I'm using the, the natural order A, B, C, D, E, and now this entry corresponds to the weight of the edge from vertex A to vertex B. Similarly, this one is the weight of the edge from vertex A to vertex C and so on. For instance, this one is the weight of the edge from vertex C to itself, this loop here. So using this, uh, you can fill in the entire adjacency matrix with the weights. If we do not have um, any edge connecting a, a pair of vertices, here we have used uh, zero, uh, but in some other applications, these might be uh, marked with other values. For instance, a negative one might in, uh, indicate um, um, that there is no connection between uh, those edges or in some uh, applications you might see um, infinity so that for instance uh, if these represent costs the cost from getting a to b is represented with a value of two but uh, for instance there is no uh, direct edge from a to d therefore you can assign uh, to to this entry here and, and infinite value so that uh, you represent this as uh, the, the cost of getting a, from A to D in an edge is infinity so that it sort of represents it's not possible. Another important concept is um, subgraphs. A subgraph of G where the, the vertex set is represented by V and the edge set is represented by E is again another graph, let's say H, consisting of a vertices, a set of vertices W and set of edges F. And obviously here, uh, W is a subset of V and F is a subset of E. But clearly all edges in F, all edges in F, the, the edges of the subgraph connect two vertices in W, the vertex set of uh, the subgraph. So for instance, uh, here, let's take this as an example, this graph here, a uh, simple undirected graph. Um, and a subset of this uh, graph might be uh, this one, consisting of the nodes A, B, C, and E, and the edges between A, B, and the edge between A, E. Now, clearly here, since, for instance, D is not in the subgraph as a vertex, you cannot include this edge in the subgraph. Another concept uh, regarding a subgraph is that the subgraph induced by a subset W of the vertices in the graph, WF, where F consists of edges with both endpoints in W. So if you specify just the subset consisting of the vertices of the subgraph. For instance, in this example, let's say we select B, C, and D. The subgraph induced by 
these vertices B, C, and D is given here. And you simply find this by selecting the edges uh, that are incident to a pair of vertices in this subset only. So there is an edge between B and C, it appears here. There is an edge between C and D, it appears here. There is an edge between, for instance, A and B, but since A is not in the sub subgraph or in the subset W, uh, we do not include that um, edge. And similarly, not this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so this is the, uh, this one on the right hand side is the subgraph induced by the subset of vertices B, C, and D.